Hello, we're back again. Cool. I've just gone and renamed um, the episode thing on uh, Twitch, so it'll attach it to the file correctly. Awesome. So yeah. Uh, yeah, glad that was interesting. Pond the Pimp. Darius. Let's have a look a bit further, because I'm really kind of confused on where that... Um, on where those missing types are. So the first thing I guess I want to do is prove whether or not it is that type that's the issue. So like, how do we get the errors on... Because um, it was really easy to get the errors on CL Auto Wrap. Let's do a force load here. Ugh. Variable T is unbound. That's rather odd. Wait a second. Um... If we look at, I'm just wondering what that error was. If we look at package. No, we're using CL. That's really odd, man. All right, in package. Oops, fuck, CL user. Ah, in package is undefined. Okay, it's, it's like it's not using common lisp. Like it's not using the CL package. Let's try ASDF from here. Yeah, that worked. But we can hopefully see some other warnings in here. Is there any information on that missing thing? Record. No. Is this it? Nope. Okay, so you've got a warning from the prelude file, but that's about it. Hmm. So that's one th advantage to using CL order app is it's much easier to get the errors to reappear, I guess. Um, I wonder if, I wonder if nuking the uh, spec files will help with that. Record, no, damn. AV is okay again, good, good. I'm actually really grateful you mentioned that because, yeah, starting and stopping with Twitch can be a bit janky. So really now we've just got to work out the rest of this stuff. I actually think I'm going to switch back to high five rather than higher five just to get the errors because, um, yeah, I'm not sure the best way to do that. It's, uh, it's kind of annoying, actually. Um, maybe that's a... Uh, a feature I can add to CFFI, C2FFI at some point is to log errors more consistently on things it doesn't know. Oh, oh there's an invalid type record here. What is this? It, it's where did it come from? Actually, one thing we can do is if we look at the header file again, there was something to do with contour or if I just go back through my search history here, contour, 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 lib5, contour. Yeah, it was this uint32t thing. Um, oh, everything's so horizontal today, so let's do this. Um, ASD. This is the type we're looking for, which should be in that um, standard int header file, right? Let's go and have a look. Uh, user include, is it just in here? Standard int? Yeah, it is. Okay, uint32t is not in there. So let's just go to user include and just do a grep and see where that lives. Um, we don't want to be case insensitive. We do want to be recursive. Let's just do that. Okay, so we got type defs down. Okay, that's not what I want there. Is it not? No. Is it going to be a type def or is it just going to be a define? It's going to be a type def, isn't it? Um, actually, we really want a... Let's see if we can... Narrow it down a bit. Let's do grep this. It's going to be semicolon at the end, surely. There we go. 
Um, C standard int under boost. Oh dear, under boost though. That's not going to help us too much, is it? There's got to be a version of that in C, isn't there? And in somewhere a little standard. Sorry, my terminology is super loose around this stuff. I really don't know exactly what I'm talking about, but um... yeah, bits types dot h. That was one of the ones I thought we um, hadn't included for before. Higher five dot asd. Let's put it in here. Um, let's do. Let's just do a force reload on that. Let's go back to the lib5.x blah 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 file. Oh. Doesn't seem like it changed. I'm going to delete the specs again. Should really put the uh, header file in a different folder so I can. Uh, just nuke the entire folder at once. Um, yeah, it does not like the contours, man. What we could do, like say, I, I will actually do the original test. Um, oh, where were we? Let's go back to higher 5 ASD. Let's go to this. And just go and have a look for that. Where is it? Stand, you, went, you went 32. I mean, we know what this is going to be. Um, in Actually, we know exactly what that's going to be in uh, CFFI, at least. We know it's going to be uh, just a um, colon int. I think that's guaranteed to be a 32-bit in um yeah yeah like you say like so let's that's the thing is it should be just an unsigned in but then you know with some of the sizes of things on windows and stuff like this it can be a little bit confusing so it's really nice if um yeah if we can just get it to find the information itself i don't know why it's having problems with it to be honest um let's just as an experiment um, go and find that header file again. Oh yeah, if the no, I don't know. If this works, right, it'll at least tell us that that was the issue. And if it doesn't, then there's something else I'm not understanding. Um, I'm getting advice here on um, clearing those files out quicker using, uh, yeah, just using a shell command. Yeah, I could definitely do that. That's uh... Also, if it comes down to it, you can just do um, percentage M and then you can mark anything with a regex and it's, you know, it's kind of fast. Um, we'll get rid of that though. <laughs> Um, one style warning. What was the style warning? Oh, of course it was that. In the name transformer, the kind is never used. Um, just so that isn't too confusing for those watching. If I go to prelude, we can see that this function takes a name and a kind, and I'm just upcasing the name. Uh, so if I just, just do a declare ignore kind, now I won't complain anymore. Whew, right. Spec. Um, Reread from disk. Yes, something has changed. Check this shit out. Suddenly, this is here. Right. So we have some progress. That definitely was the issue. Now we've got lib5 contours. Um which means we've got all the functions that take lib5 contours. That's nice. Um, so there's still some invalid records around, but 
we're starting to narrow it down at least so what we could really do is just dump the extra information we need in that header file and just be done with it because we we need it to be compatible and that's it actually what we could do is just make our own header you know like a supplementary header like um let's have a look do 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 Ah, uh, lib5. The problem with this is that we're still hacking it in ourselves, so... It's not too great. Um, oh, it's the dumbest way we can do this. Uh, lib5.h. Will this work? Come on, where is it? doing there we go now we can go into the spec and we can go into here and we can see we still have everything and um, we can just put the extra things we need in that header file but again i don't like it because we're oh yeah now we've created a whole new bunch of specs for our lib5 that's interesting but it still worked um, I suppose what we could do actually is rather than relying on include, we could rely on, um, hmm, we could just put the includes we need in here. Let's have a look at that actually. Um, what was the, what were the types that we, where was, ah, oh, ah, words, words, um, Let's just try this. Include types at h, or just include types. Can't remember. Or it actually might be. It's probably bits types, isn't it? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, we'll get rid of this, or at least comment it out. Um, do that. Do this. Bring it back. Do that. Contour. No, we don't have the contour there. But it didn't seem to mind. It's very disturbing. Not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, just had a make file to do the clean. <laughs> Include from lib lib five dot h. Yeah, let's let's just do that then. Oh yeah, good point. Sorry. Smart. Right. Um. Come on, Chris. Brain. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's get all this rlib5 stuff out of the way. Let's go and change the the uh, ASD file again. This part is always the worst part. Just getting it to just give you the thing you want. But once it's done, it is done. Um, please give us our contour. No. It really does not like that, dudes. It is not impressed. Huh. Super weird. Any guesses on what we might be screwing up? This is where my knowledge runs really dry at the best of times, and especially after today. Well, I'm not so sure. Um, let's go back to that file again. Do, do, do. It's annoying as well because I'd like to do something that's portable, you know? Well, I mean, I suppose it's not going to be, be a major problem either way. Yeah, that's nah, not going to be a big deal. 
Um, let's have a look. Sergeant Queef, hello, sir. How are you doing? Maybe it relies on some defines to get the right includes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right, actually. Um... So we could just for now go back to our hacks, but it's kind of annoying that we would have to. Um... Ah. Hmm. Yeah, you've got if not define bits types h here. It's gonna then not define a whole bunch of things. Um p types dot h might include other stuff based on defines. Let's let's try that then. Oops. I can't actually remember where that was. So let's just do find diet. Search from here and do the name is going to be um, p types dot h. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? We just need to convince it to get there. Um, Oh yeah, actually, that's a good point. We can probably just use p-types as is from the header file, right? Let's just do this, p-types. After doing that, uh, the little bits of list, my brain is clocked out. Let's do some coffee. Do some coffee. That is, it really proves the point right then of like how much is being used medicinally and not um, for its enjoyment. I know I'm going to have someone in the comments telling me exactly how that the regenerate works regardless of me deleting the spec files, but still. Better safe than whatever. Ooh, reread. That sounds good. The fact that we had to reload that file. Ugh, but it didn't. <laughs> it didn't help. Still the same damn thing. Booger! Maybe we should, no. If if it didn't work with us putting it in um, the fuck, what's it called? If it didn't work with us putting in the header file directly. It's not going to work from us doing the include sources because that's just being passed as like hyphen i arguments to um, to LVM or whatever. I always forget which way around it is. It's Clang is the actual compiler, right? And then LVM is the like, sorry, the Clang is like the front end tool and the LVM is the back end stuff, right? Or have I got that around backwards? Um, elevator simulator, it doesn't matter that uh, bit types defines UN32 with two underscores at the front. Um, yeah, that matters. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what the what the deal is, but I, what we can do is like, yeah. The problem is we need to know which ones it's using, which ones it's freaking out about, to know which ones to replace. And it's kind of hard to get that information from uh, CFI, C2FI. So, yeah, we will jump back to um, High Five just to see what we get there. Right, so quick load. High five. Right. A whole bunch of invalid records. So I go to lib5 and let's expand this. Um, oh. Okay. That is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> expand the actual thing rather than some arbitrary list. Okay. So um, invalid type record. Let's go through and see. What things from spec are actually the issue? Cool. So, first one is in lib5 contours delete. We know what this is going to be. Um, this is where we find out that it's contours and we don't like, it doesn't like contours because of UN32. Um, invalid type record. Let's just do invalid type actually and see what we get. Um, there's lib5 mesh delete. 
takes a lib5 mesh. And lo and behold, you win 32t again. Actually, let's have a look for everything that's underscore t space. You win 32, you win 32. Yeah, it's just those actually. That might be all we need to have everything work. In which case, just throwing that type def at the end, the beginning of the file, is perfectly fine for us. That's gonna be that's gonna be a okay for what we need. Let's do a bit more digging just to say we've done the actual legwork. Pixels delete. Oh, well, lib five pixels definitely has this issue, so let's not worry about that. Um, tree render slice. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it takes floats. We know they're going to be okay. A lib5 region 2. I bet that's just floats. Lib5 internal? In oh, interval. Ugh. Which are just floats, yeah. So, it's going to be lib5 tree. Didn't we look at that already and find out that... Where was the definition for lib5? Tree. Oh, can't see the definition for lib def stroke. Ah, wait a second. Can't find the definition for lib five. Um, lib five tree, wasn't it? Oh God. Come on, brain, hold it together. It's not much longer. We're at twenty minutes to go lib5 underscore tree yeah that but we've already seen that lib5 tree is okay i don't think it's a struct i think it's just a type def or something actually come to think about it because um let's go back at the top yeah there's a type def there it is okay that makes sense um so it's not that either Invalid type. Tree tree render pixels and all those are taking trees, so that's not a big deal. Um, actually, the fact that those are having invalid type. Oh no, it's not the um, it's not an argument type. That's the problem. It's the it's the result, which is lib five pixels, which we already know as the uint thing. Okay, right. I'm done. I'm done. This is the. Um, Comment of him saying clang equals front end LLVM is back end. Thank you. It's so stupid because I've been like reading a bunch of papers and watching a load of things like LLVM talks and stuff like this. I still manage to get uncertain about that stuff. Um, clang is the C front end to LLVM. Oh, that's cool. That makes sense. So let's say, do you need to tell the compiler not to use CPP? Um, I don't think it is telling it that kind of stuff anyway like i'm I, i'm not sure what the deal is there to be honest um either way we can't generate bindings to um c plus plus due to templates and all that kind of stuff so and um name mangling and all that kind of stuff it can't be done in the general case portably so it is not supported sadly um too many things are written in c plus plus it's very annoying but We know what we needed now. That's great. It wasn't to wreck that file. Um, it was to get rid of some of the stuff we don't need. Let's do that. Let's get rid of find. Do we don't want to close you guys? Um, let's leave higher five ASD open. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of those. Those. Yeah, good. I have five ASD, there we are. So let's go back in and add that little hack that we had before, which was just the type def. I'm hoping it's still in my history somewhere because I don't want to remember exactly what it was. I know it's simple, but always room for mistakes. So I'd rather skip them if I can. Type def, there we are. And uh, yeah. With that done, let's do one last time deleting all the specs. Let's bring up the REPL. Ah, come on. Let's quick load higher five. 
Oh, crap. I forgot something from the other stream. I forgot to mention about the uh, path for CFI, uh, C2FFI. Because one of the, the tricksy bits is that, um, obviously, it needs to know where that program is. If it's in path, like if you can just open a terminal and type C2FFI and hit return and it works, then you're fine. But otherwise, you have to specify the path. So I'll show you guys what I normally do. And I'm not sure if it really is the correct way of doing it. But in my uh, SB, uh, SBCLRC file, I just um, ASDF load auto wrap and then set the um, CFFI, C2FFI program variable to be the actual path. It's just so I don't have to move it around anywhere else. You'll notice, of course, because um, the system is only loaded here, the package doesn't exist um, when the file is being read, like by the reader, the Lisp reader. And so we have to defer looking up the actual symbol till later. So we intern this symbol in find package auto wrap um, at runtime. And then we set the symbol value of whatever uh, symbol is returned from this to be this value. Otherwise, normally what we would do is we would just say uh, set f auto wrap um, c2 ffi program to be blah, 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 blah. But we can't do that because it'll get to here and it'll go, whoa, 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 whoa. Auto wrap doesn't exist yet because it looks up, um, it, it's, it, it, Ah, what are you what are you saying? When it's interning, when it's reading this code, it's going to try and intern this or find this symbol in this package, and this package doesn't exist until this actually runs, which is later. So yeah, just a little a little gotcha to be aware of. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's all of that anyway. That's the one thing I missed from the. Um... Oh, so let's. You're right. Wait a second. Um. There is a if def C++ thing. Oh no, that seems to be to include these though. Rather than um, for this one, I guess it is setting C++ when it walks then. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems to do an okay job at it. Like it wasn't freaking out. Um, like if we go to higher five um, spec and then open the list file now, uh, we can see that the lib5 tree and everything is it's completely defined it's all fine um yeah so that's cool and look there's our um our un32 defined and it's just an unsigned in on this platform at least that works fine cool right so now that's done let's see if we can um write a little bit lib5 code um Oh dear me! Right, so what list files do we have here? Let's open High Five. We haven't got anything in there yet. Let's go back to Lib Five in here, and we're just going to try and do some of this example stuff. I like the idea of being able to export something as a, uh, as an SVG. So let's try that. Um, don't do that. I don't trust that at all. Um, the reason, I, actually, in case it wasn't clear, the reason I don't like using um, the higher level languages garbage collector to manage um, foreign resources is just that what happens is like you you have a pointer returned and you stick it in a box and then you attach a destructor to that box and it's like, hey, when this dies, free that memory. And that's fine. For one of those, that's okay. As long as everything got that same box, everything would be fine. But what if through another function, you were able to get another, you're able to get that same pointer. Now when that pointer is returned, it makes a new box for it. And now you've got two boxes with two different destructors. So then if this one dies first, this one's holding a reference to an undefined memory. Um, yeah, to, to free memory. And that, that's just, that's just bad. So what you end up having to do to be safe, I mean, you either make sure that things are only getting hold of, can only get hold of those pointers 
from the kind of constructor functions, but that isn't generally guaranteed in all C APIs that it's it's safe like that. Often you have like a query thing, like oh, it's going to return one of the nodes. Um, you don't know which node it is ahead of time, so you don't know if it's going to be able to put in the same box. The other thing you can do, which is terrible, is you have to take the pointer and use it as a key in a hash table to the box. And that means every time you get a pointer, you're doing a hash table lookup in some global hash table. Oh, it's awful. So, yeah, don't don't do that. <laughs> Anyway, this is what we were going to do. We were going to try and get something here to work. So we're going to comment out this code and uh, let's get rid of all the uh, trailing semicolons because we don't need them. And let's just try and, um, yeah, let's just try and write this. So let's do defund test. Um, X is going to be lib5 tree. Oops. X. Ah, one thing we will want to do, what the heck, is learn to type. But before that, we're going to want to go to our higher five packages. And I want to take this and I want to see if I just use it in higher five. Does that work? No. Okay, so it doesn't seem to have been exported. Is that right? Oh, wait. This says high five. Am I in the wrong directory again? Yes, you are, Chris. Yes, you are. For fuck's sake. Right. Higher five. Let's see what we've got in here. We don't have a high five uh, like list file, so let's create one of those. Let's dump this stuff in it. And call it higher five and then here we can see that it's not it hasn't got those symbols yet okay right so what do we need to do if we let's take this to the REPL It looks like they're all in there at least. So that's cool. Let's look at spec. Let's get the Lisp file and look down here. Um, I thought there, are a way of, there was a way of handling exports for stuff like this. Um, ew, wait, what? Okay. Oh, right. I think there is a way of doing this. There was something called an export predicate, I think. This is the problem. This, actually, this is one reason definitely to use uh, order wrap over um, CFFI, C2FFI, other than terrible name, is the um, documentation for this is non-existent. So you end up having to go and find a lot of stuff. Um, but that is all right. Let's just go here and close that file because we don't need it. Go into source and C two um, FFI. There we go. And then let's look at ASDF and see. Um, I think there was a predicate. Yeah, FFI name export predicate. And this is going to be a function which looks at a symbol, I believe, or at least a name, and then says yay or nay of whether to export it. And I think we're just going to say yes for everything. What's the default one? The default is nil. Okay, so we just want to... Actually, this tells us the signature. Fantastic. So this is the function we need. And from this name, I'm guessing it's going to be a symbol. Um, I am a bit more familiar with uh, this one because I've done some work on it in the past. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's a cool project, man. I really like it. Let's go into the prelude and add this. Um, let's go to the ASD file. And then down here with name transformer, we can specify, it's not gonna be called default, is it? It's gonna be um, this. And we're gonna return true. So let's just do that always. 
and it's just going to be called uh, fire prelude. Blah blah blah. Let's see if we can just get away with an ASDF. Oh, we got an error. Cool. Um, nice. So it just. found some conflicts between the stuff coming out of higher five lib and common lisp count that's so a bit interesting actually that it would collide with common lisps count considering that I thought higher five lib was using um, CL see it's got CL here sorry here just the important one if it was using CL, why would it be missing that symbol? Not really sure. Um, the change we made though, by, by allowing everything, if we go into spec and look for the Lisp file again, if we go down, oh no, there it was, it was up there I think, export, oh, it's still nil. Oh, shut my face, I'm a bit confused. Where is it doing the exporting then? Why is that causing a problem? Maybe it exports it while it's um, building. That's quite possible. Hmm. And then it writes it into that file as well. That could happen. So let's have a quick think. Why would that not be um, using CL already? Hmm. To be fair, actually, we don't need um, higher five lib to use CL at all. We could do this. And then just let um, this package export whatever it likes. And from here, then we can just qualify everything with uh, higher five lib. It'll be a bit wordy. Um, so we could use a package nickname, but it would be all right. Let's try that. Let's just see what happens. It's one of these territories I just don't know that well. So, um, oh, now it's complaining about the export predicate. That's interesting. I'm really confused with, with that order because See, it says higher five. Effort five name export predicate in higher five prelude is undefined. What have I done wrong? Let's have a look. Higher five ASD. It's doing these components serially, I thought. So I thought it went down like this. I thought each one had an implicit dependency on the thing before it. Uh, so you didn't have to specify that. So it would do package and then it would do prelude. Um, come on. So higher five preload is definitely the package we're in. And f5 name export predicate is definitely the name of that function. So I'm kind of confused about why it's having any issues at all with that. Especially because it doesn't have a problem with the ffi name transformer. It's odd. Uh, that's actually another another reason that um, CL AutoRap is nicer in some cases is just being able to recompile the macro to retest is very nice. If there was a, but so rather than having to reload the uh, project, the ASDF thing makes that part feel very clunky, but it feels great once it's set up. Um, I can't see the issue here. Oh, I'm just going to compile this and just run this again. Count causes name conflicts in higher five between the following symbols. Oh, yeah, of course, because I haven't removed the use higher five lib from here yet. Right. So now that compiles. 
we go back to high five dot lisp and we can then um, we do higher five higher five dot lib and that's where that function is but it's a bit annoying having to write this whole thing so we're going to define a nickname for the package and I can't remember what that clause is so I'm just going to jump to definition no for def package and it's like nickname or something like this is it just called nicknames actually this looks like exactly what it is so let's do that uh, nicknames is h5 um, actually let's put a percentage sign at the beginning it's for the internal stuff and now we can replace this with h5 and it didn't work huh what did I do wrong here a bunch of stuff apparently Anyone know about nicknames and what I'm doing wrong here? I could have a look at one of my old libraries actually, because I know I use nicknames in Vario a lot. Um, or don't I? I thought I did. Oh, not in Vario, sorry, I use it in uh, RTG Math. That's the one. Yeah, nicknames, blah, blah, blah. I have five lib nicknames. Interesting. I thought that would have just applied. Maybe you have to go and recompile that file again. Just keep doing things until it makes sense. No. God damn. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, it's not because oh, it's not a um. No. What are you? How about use package higher five lib in the after the in package? But that's going to import all of the symbols, and we know some of them conflict, like count, which is the thing I was trying to avoid. So I uh, I just wanted to. i5.lib definitely works. Like the package is there, and that thing is there. What is up with that? It's, ah, wait, 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 wait. There's something goofy going on here. Because when I go back to here and recompile this, that's going to get rid of all the exports again. Like, this doesn't know about higher 5 lib anymore. Um, but if I did this, I would still be able to find it. So can I do percent %h5 at this point? Yes, that works. So it was that when I was recompiling this, I was getting rid of all the exports. And then it was running the um, this file again would bring them back. Here's all the exports. So doing this, then I should be able to do this. And it works. Okay, so there was nothing technically wrong. It was just the order I was doing things. Great. So now let, let's see if we can get rolling a bit here because it would be good to uh, get something done in the last few minutes. Um, let's do let's start here. Um, X2 is lib5 tree unary h5 lib5 opcode enum square um, and x oops x2 y2 um, s lib5 tree binary enum add I get the feeling that we're going to make something to make this much nicer for definite um, x2 and y2 
Um, one is lib5 tree const one. Oops, of course we need to do, ah, oh, we're forgetting a few, um, a few of these around the place. Doot, doot, doot. And doot. Is all of that good? Yeah, that looks good. Um, out. Lib5 tree binary. I have no idea what we're doing, but that really isn't required for, uh, for what we're trying to achieve right now. Um, sub s and 1. And then we're going to make a 2D region, apparently. So how does this work? That's interesting. Ah, look at this, though. This looks like it might be a struct, and that looks like it might be a struct being passed by value. Which would be rather interesting. So let's just have a quick look at that list file and see what we've got for this. Yes, it takes a struct by value. Um, so it's a good job we actually, in our ASD, uh, if we look back here, we relied on CFFI lib FFI. And that's what's allowing that to work. However, um, that may give us problems on other platforms. I know Windows, people were having problems with libffi. And I just remembered another alternative I didn't mention on that stream. Um, uh, Borodust, one of our regulars here, um, has been working on a newer version of uh, CL Auto Wrap, basically a replacement. And his one, what it does is instead of using libffi, when it sees something that's um, that is a struct passed by value, it generates a C program with um, wrapper functions for each of those. So anytime it's passed by value, it creates a wrapper function which is passed by pointer, and then it just passes by value inside. And then it compiles that C program. So you have an extra binary there, and you have a few other things. So trade-offs, but it's very cool, and it avoids the dependency on this. Um, Fond of him quoting me there. I have no idea what we are doing, but it's not required for what we want to achieve. Fuck yeah. Um, here's one bit again. I don't really, don't really know. Um, if we make a lib5 region, what, what does that look like? And uh, yeah, what what does that mean to do that? Um, Like, ah, oh, come on, where are we? Um, we're making something called R. And is it the H5 make? No. So lib5 region 2. I don't know how to um, make one of these just as a value, actually. Um, oh, God, we're so close as well. We've run over time, but I really want to just finish this thing um, oh dear I wonder if it's just a list let's just try that fuck it right I, I, I vaguely remember something like this from another project um, so let's get rid of all of this blah 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 blah, 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 blah. Um, we're just down to this last bit here so Lib5, tree, save, slice, out, region. We're just going to do a list of minus 2, 2, minus 2, 2. I've got this vague feeling it might be at uh, 0, 10, and um, food or SVG. Undefined variable out. Lies. It's right there. Um, Y2 is defined but never used, really? I think that means this should have been Y2. Um, let's get in package IR5 and run test and we'll get an error. No, it's not a value of single float. What the hell? Oh, this is meant to be a float, okay. Um, do that. Generic function slot type when called with nil. Boo. Um, yeah, it's trying to find out what to do with this at runtime because it wants a struct. And, ah, oh, we're so close. What is the, um, how do we do this? How do we do this? Um, 
What does a def C fun actually do? Um, it calls a foreign fun call with a struct. So yeah, but what does, when it's a struct type like that, what do you do? Fun call foreign structures by value. Right, exactly that. Um, oh, I don't know, right. Oh. Okay, libffi, here we go. Set foreign structures by value to be this. Um, and what is the value that it expects? That's really confusing. I just want to know what the things are. God damn it, I think we're beaten. We're so close, we're so close. How can we be beaten right now? Oh, what a pig. Um, maybe it was, I'm gonna try and remember this, one second. It's r.x, r.x.lower. Oh no, wait a second, this is this actually takes two arguments, doesn't it? It's x and y. And um lib52 region. Come on you bugger, where are you? Um lib52 region is a struct, but it takes an interval, which is also just a struct, and it is passed by value as well. Um Lower and upper. X, Y. I, man, I'm just running off memory here, but let's have a look. Lower, upper. We'll try it without this stuff as well. Um, lower. Ah, uh, upper. Nope. Doesn't like it. It was a long shot anyway. Damn. Nope. Okay. So that's my job for next time is we're just going to have to... Um, we'll have to find out what this last bit is to make this um, struct value. Because normally what we would just do is we go uh, with foreign objects. Uh, objects. And then we'd say um, the var will be called, I don't know, x. And then we'd say int and two of those, but that's gonna return a pointer to an int. And so if we passed in one of those, um, like a lib5 tree or whatever it's called, lib5 region two, like this, uh, region two, then we would have a pointer to one of these objects. And that doesn't really help us as far as I know, unless we were to dereference it. And then we pass the struct object that we got back. I mean, that could work maybe. So, Annoyed at the idea of not making it at this stage. Um, but we all know that that's how this is ending. So, um, just going to have to deal with it. Um, so, yeah. That's going to complain about a pointer. Bah! Fine. Anyway. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, we'll be back next week with some more. I really want to get this uh, hooked into Keppel. So we just need to find out what that thing is. And then there is this wicked little um, function called... Where is it? Right here. Uh, up here somewhere. Where are you? Um, oh, it's gone, gone anyway. Like there is an export for um, um, SVGs, there's also one for mesh. So then what we can do is we can define a GPU array 
uh, or a C array or whatever, and we can write that data directly into that array, push it up to the GPU and just render it like normal, which we've done tons of times so we know how to do. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically where we go from here. So um, thanks so much, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.